So welcome to the Photon Fun Relay Practice. We have Adam and Erica. They're going to help us demonstrate a successful Photon Fun Relay. We're going to start off talking about the amount of light. Uh, Adam is set up with a light meter rather than a mirror in front of our flashlight. And this light meter is something that the event supervisors will use uh, between every team's competition to make sure the light is the same strength for each team. Uh, Adam is about a foot or a little bit more away from the mirror right now, or the lamp right now, and you can see that the light meter is reading about 300, 250 to 300. So I'm going to ask Adam to take a couple steps back so that he's now more like five feet away, and we can see that the light meter has dropped below 200. So what we take from this is that you want to be as close as the rules allow to the flashlight for the first person. This gives you the most amount of light to work with and transfer to your partner. talk about how we're going to hold the mirror. Okay. So yeah. So one of the one of the the things we've now established that you want the first person to be close to the mirror to grab the most amount of light. Um, but one of the things that's important is how you hold the mirror. Uh, the way Adam is holding it right now, you can see that he is holding the mirror steady against his body, and his body is blocking a lot of the excess light. There is no light shining behind him. Uh, one of the things we see teams do is hold the mirror out to the side with their hands. And if you can demonstrate that, Adam. You can see behind him, there's a little bit of light leaking, and sometimes that causes a problem because one of Adam's teammates may be somewhere behind him and they may be picking up that transferred light and using that to shine at the target. And that won't count because we need the light to bounce between all of the mirrors. The other thing you may notice, um, if you can see where his, his light is being reflected, is it's harder for him to hold it steady that way. The mirror is, is bouncing around a little bit. Maybe you could saturate that. And it's just hard to hold it steady. Whereas if you're able to brace your hand, you can hold it steady. Steadier. And it'll be fixed in place. One of the other things we need to talk about, is the way you're holding the mirror and looking, is, um, Adam, we're going to have you um, shine your mirror over to the side here, kind of by the yeah, maybe up just a little bit on the board, is if, if we had uh, Erica standing in for one of Adam's partners over here, and let's say Adam is trying to shine the light to his partner Erica, Um, Erica, why don't you hold the, the yeah. Shine, Adam is shining the light to his partner, Erica. Now, Erica is trying to shine the light back somewhere else. And if Adam then looks at where Erica is shining the light, his light tends to move. It's just like riding your bike. If you are looking in one direction, your body tends to move in that direction, and if you do that, your light will move. So it's very important for this first person to just look at where their light is going and let the second person on the team do their thing and bounce the light elsewhere. Now when we've had the, the second person pick up the light, we can have them bounce it
So when the students, when, when your team comes into the room, the supervisors are going to point out where the targets are. Uh, in this case, we have most of them on the same side of the room. That won't be the case uh, when you're in for the competition. Um, but we have target one on the whiteboard there. Target two is on the pillar. Target three is on the desk. Target four is on the other side of the pillar. Target five is underneath this desk. And target six is back in that corner. You will have, after they've pointed out the targets, you will have one minute to start doing some planning on how you're going to arrange your team to hit those. So why don't we kind of go through that exercise right now. Adam, you're going to start, and we're going to kind of mentally think about, and we can even do that uh, right now, how, how we would hit the targets. So you're going to start with one, reflect to Erica. Then Erica will reflect back to me, and I should be able to hit target one with an arrangement here. Now the nice thing about the way the targets are right now is you two can pretty much stay in the same position and I can shift a little bit and should be able to hit target three. Or I'm sorry, target two. Note that you don't have to go in order. Uh, you can hit the targets in any order that you want. Um, but in this case, target one and target two, we can hit uh, pretty easily with just a slight shift. Now going to target three, we may be able to just make a minor shift here as well. Adam can stay there, Erica can stay in a, a similar position, and the third member may want to step out here and be able to hit target three there. Once we've hit that one, we should be able to hit target four. This is going to create a little bit more of a shift. We're going to have to work around this pillar, and there may be obstacles that you need to work around in the room but she will turn a little bit and hit the light towards me, and I will be able to hit target four, and I can actually see a little bit of a reflection right now, saying that we're doing that. Number five is going to create a little bit more of an issue for us. Um, if I were to try to hit it from right here, we've got Erica, me, and the target in a line, and that's not a good situation because she may be illuminating the target with her mirror and skipping mine. Um, so what we need to do to make sure we get all three is have the third person be right here. So I'm going to get light from her and then bounce it down right here. And you can actually see a little bit that it's illuminated right now. You see this one moving. That puts us in good position for target number six, way back in this corner and we would be able to hit it right here like this. So that should be your minute planning, give you a chance to move around the room, see what makes sense, what order you want to hit the targets in, and how you're going to position yourself. The lights will come down, and then you'll be given your two minutes to start the relay. So now we want to practice an actual relay. We're going to have Adam pick up the light. He is shining it to Erica. And he is looking while Erica is moving and trying to find my mirror. Now Erica has a light on me, and I am picking up this first target here and illuminating that. The supervisor will say, one, two, three, OK, and that target has counted. Now I can move on to our next target. And since this one is pretty close, nobody else really needs to move. Just the third person needs to move. We're shining on number two. They say one, two, three, and we're good there. Did you notice I was looking away to find where number three was, and my light went off of that second target. So you've got to be very careful that you're looking where you want your light to go. Now we may need to move around a little bit because our third target is up front behind Adam. We're going to have Adam stay in a similar location. Erica maybe slide over this way a little bit. So you would shine, and you're looking to hit. There you go. My mirror, and I am hitting number three. One, two, three, 
and we're good. Our fourth target is on the back side of this pillar. So this time Eric is going to need to shine around the pier, pillar to me. And I can hit one, two, three on this four, and we're good. We would then move number five. It's underneath this table. The third person is probably going to need to get down on the ground somehow and shine this. And this is where we might have a little bit of a problem. This positioning is good, but it's a little bit hard because Erica and I and the target are in a line. And that makes it very hard to control this beam. So what would be better is for me as a third one here to move so that she can hit me here. We are not now in a line. And I can take this reflection and hit number five, hold it for three seconds, and then we are good. Our final reflection is back in this corner. It's kind of set up in a tunnel. So I need to be in a position right here. I won't be able to hit it from anywhere over there. But we will come back. I have the light. One, two, three. It's illuminated, and we're done.